Uh, let me introduce to you the beam tool. Um, double clicking the beam tool opens it up and again there's a ge geometry of the beam up here, the height of the beam. Uh, the top of the beam is measured to the top surface of the beam, that is the height of the beam above the story you're in. Um, we also, beams are drawn by a centre line and that centre line can be controlled through this figure. So if I made this 150, it would draw the beam from one edge. If I made it uh, minus 150, it would draw it from the other edge. If I left it at zero, it draws the beam from the center line of the beam. So my beam is 600 deep. It's zero height above the story I'm in. It's 300 wide. It's made of concrete. Okay, the, the surface material is concrete and the construction system that I've chosen. Uh, important not to mix these two up. One is the surface finish. The other one is the construction system. And that's the same with walls. Exactly the same with walls. Don't get the construction system and the materials that you're finishing the walls off with mixed up with one another. They're two completely different things. Um, the beam has defaulted to this layer. Okay, beams, concrete. I say okay. And again, just like walls, slabs, I have a number of different ways in the info box to draw that beam. Single beams at a time. Okay, there's that center line of that beam being drawn. Um, I can draw many different shapes. Holding the shift key, I can draw rectangular shape beams. Uh, double click or click a place on in the same point twice and uh, you can finish that beam off. The thing also I would like to point out is how the marquee works in ArchiCAD. You notice there's a, a flashing uh, rectangle there. That's the uh, marquee in ArchiCAD. Um, this tool here. Um, as I place a marquee on the floor plan and generate a 3D window using the F5 command, it only generates the portion of the model that falls within the marqueed area. So for example, I'll right click the mouse and remove the marquee, generate um, an F5 command, it generates everything. I can zoom out and show you everything that I've drawn in 3D. If I jump back to the floor plan, F2, take the marquee and put it only into a portion of my model, generate a F5 3D window and it only generates the portion of the model that fell within the marquee area. Very handy when you just want to zoom in or concentrate on one aspect, like these beams that I've just drawn, for example. Okay, um, And so you can also edit the beams in 3D. I can select a beam that has been grouped together. If I want to edit that, I need to suspend the grouping and I can uh, grab that beam and move it around. I can uh, click one edge and change the height of that beam and edit um, that way as well as in the 2D window. Um, so if I wanted to, I could go around and place a beam around my slab. Um, and I'll show you a shortcut. So it's, uh, I can use the spacebar key command. This works with all tools in ArchiCAD. If I'm in the beam tool, um, hold the spacebar key down, click on the edge of a slab, and it will automatically trace that edge with a beam. If I put my marquee just around this part of my model, generate a 3D view using the F5 command, uh, and fit to window, I can see uh, the beam has been drawn around my slab. I, if I want to, I can reinstate grouping and uh, select that beam and then move that beam up and down if I wanted to. Okay, So I'm dragging, holding the shift key, I can uh, drag that beam up and down. If I hit 
uh, the tab key, I can move it down by a certain distance, say two brick horses, 172 millimeters, it gives me a step down in the slab. Hit O on the keyboard and I can see the beam, uh, the turn down in my slab. I could change the thickness of that beam or the depth of that beam. Again, what you need to do is always select and then suspend the grouping if you want to edit the height of that beam. So for example, um, I could change the depth of that beam, tab 300, enter, and uh, there's my oh, A set down in the slab. Okay. So um, get familiar with the slab tool and the beam tool. Some of those things I talked about, the marquee allows you to generate things in the 3D window, and the spacebar command, very uh, handy tool. It works with all uh, tools in ARCHICAD. If I'm in the wall tool, I can spacebar click the edge of a slab and it will throw a wall around that slab. Very uh, far, so I can regenerate that and show you fit to window down here and show you that wall that has automatically been generated around that, uh, that slab. Okay. Have a play with some of those things.